Hi, my name is Amelia Lyons, and uh, this is an introduction to a series of longer videos which talks about encouraging other health colleagues to use clinical supervision. Uh, what I talk about in the videos is uh, encouraging uh, my clinical supervising colleagues. So I run a, a clinical supervision uh, program and um, I train health colleagues to become approved clinical supervisors in my health board. Uh, and then what they may get asked to do is to uh, provide some clinical supervision um, to um, other health professionals in the organisation. Uh, now, not all health professionals, believe it or not, jump at the chance of clinical supervision. Uh, some of them uh, will treat it with suspicion, will wonder what it is and why am I being asked to have supervision, uh, if indeed they are being asked. Um, so what we have, because we always prefer that people do self-refer, but occasionally uh, and periodically within the health board, supervision will get provided for staff, for example, on wards. Uh, where they're seen as being under a great deal of stress, uh, especially in these times, of course, and um, supervision is seen as a place to uh, debrief um, and uh, learn from the professional experience. Uh, so management will provide uh, sometimes clinical supervision, so not management supervision, but supervision provided by somebody else, um, i.e. a clinical supervisor. Uh, who is just working with the professional purely uh, for their learning and not um, for any managerial agenda. However, staff may not always realise that um, and may uh, resist uh, the idea of supervision. So this video is for those staff who are going in to give clinical supervision. Um, and may be experiencing some resistance uh, towards it. Um, so they, in this case, I'm arguing that you need to get your ducks in a row. Uh, in the video, we talk about the rationale and definitions of clinical supervision. We talk about the benefits of clinical supervision and we talk about the resistance to clinical supervision. We talk about the principles of good clinical supervision. And finally, we talk about using clinical supervision. So some people actually don't really know how to use supervision. Um, uh, they don't really know what it's for and they don't know how to use it. They don't know what to disclose in it. Uh, and that can be uh, really helpful is to give them a set of tools to enable them to learn actually how to use clinical supervision. So that, in a nutshell, is what the series of encouraging uh, clinical supervision suite of videos is all about. Thank you very much.